Hey guys, Tech Mitchell with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you the latest way to lock an app on your iPhone on iOS 17. Now, there isn't a direct feature that Apple has put for iOS 17 to lock an app, but they have definitely made it easier. And this latest way to lock app, I think, is the simplest I've seen so far. So I'm going to share it with you guys. So what you'll need to do in order for this to happen is you'll need the shortcut app, which is a default app on your iPhone on iOS 17. For some reason, you deleted the app. You can always go to the App Store here and search for shortcut, and you'll be able to re-download the app itself. But it's an app from Apple that allows you to do a lot of shortcuts. So you want to go ahead and download it if you don't have it. But if you have it, great. All you're going to do is go ahead and open it up. And once you open it up, we're going to click on Automation here. And then we're going to add a new automation. So right, once you do that, you're going to want to just find the one for app here, as you can see right here. And all you'll do is choose the app that you would like to lock. So we'll choose here. And then after that, we will select, let's say, Photos here with that Done option. And then we want to run immediately right after. This is important that you select that option. So once you select that option, you're going to hit Next here. And after that, you'll have this blank automation option here. Now we want to click on this one, which is new blank automation. And after that, all we will do is add an action. So we'll click on add action. And then from there on, we're going to search for lock here, right? So we're going to search for lock screen is the one that we're aiming for. So we're going to click on that lock one. And what basically we have done is saying that when someone tries to open the photos app, or whatever app you like, basically it will lock the screen, locking them out so that pretty much the app is locked. So we're going to hit that done option now. And now we have locked the photos app. And then we can go back here and find the photos app. As you can see, when I try to open it up, now it creates a lock here. As you can see here, face ID will allow me to open the app itself again. See, simple as that. And then I can just use it just like that now. It's important to do this because you can do this with pretty much all the apps that you need and you will do one by one but it's really simple again like I said you just go to shortcuts here and then you'll click on automation if you want to do a new app right and you'll choose the app here like we did again choose another one maybe I want to do maybe let's do messages this time right so if I do messages here I'll hit done here run immediately next and then new blank automation, action, and then lock screen. Click on that. Simple as that. Hit done, as you can see. And you can keep on doing it for a lot of apps. Now, of course, you'll see that every time I open these up, it'll lock me out. And then I'll have to unlock to get in, and which is really nice and easy. The only caveat to this method is, let's say someone knew about this automation. They can just, when you're they're using your phone, they can just simply go ahead and delete those app and those automation will be gone or the lock will be gone and you won't be prompted or get locked out. So that's it for on how to simply lock app on your iPhone on the latest version and the latest method. I hope you guys like this video. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.